something amazing happens when you boil sweetened condensed milk in a can like this. It becomes caramel. I'll show you guys how to boil sweetened condensed milk three different ways. On the stovetop, in the slow cooker, and in the pressure cooker. Most people know this caramel as dulce de leche, and it can be used to frost cakes and top ice creams. All my cans are the same, and if you notice the lids are the pop-top type lids. I used to always believe that you couldn't boil the milk if it had this type of lid, but it's not true. It can withstand the pressure of boiling. So the first one is going to go in this big pot of water because this is going to go on the stove top and it's going to have to go for three hours. So I'm laying it down because I want to make sure the water covers it completely and then set it on the stove and put the fire on high. I'm going to set a timer for 90 minutes because I want to come back and check at that point to see how much of the water has boiled out. The second one, if you notice I'm just peeling off the paper, the paper label. The second one is going to go in a slow cooker and my slow cooker cooks pretty fast when you put it on high so I'm not sure how long I'm going to let this go for but let me go ahead and set it on high now it's 90 minutes later let's see how much water has boiled out of the pot that's on the stove quite a bit right so I set it for another 90 minutes that will give us three hours and then now this one's done and if you notice a lot of the water has evaporated so you want to be very careful when you're making this stuff on the stove top because you don't want the stuff to explode because you ran out of water so carefully take it out you don't want to sit it in there because it's going to continue cooking let me get my can dried off so I can mark on it with a sharpie and I'm just marking stove top for this one and the time three hours so this is going to cool completely before we open it all right now let's take a look at the one in the slow cooker man it's really boiling I think because my slow cooker cooks fast, I'm just going to let this go for 7 hours instead of 8 hours because I'm a little bit nervous that this might be overdone. Take it out and set it aside to let it cool. Alright guys, so I wanted this video to be separate because I want to show you the three different ways you can boil the milk or make uh, dulce de leche. Now when I first came from Belize to America, nobody knew about this over here except for people from the Caribbean, Central America and so on. Now, all of a sudden, I'm seeing all over Facebook that this was something that they've always done in the South. I'm like, come on, people. Is that for real, though? Is that really for real? Anyways, I didn't do the third one yet. This one's the stovetop three hours. This one's the uh, slow cooker seven hours. I did not go eight hours in my slow cooker because my slow cooker cooked fast and the stuff was actually boiling and I don't want it to be overdone. So let me peel the label off of this one. Remember, all of them are the same brand. The uh, label just looks different on um, them too because of the fact that uh, it's like Christmas time or something or getting ready for Thanksgiving or whatever. So we're going to go ahead, put this in the pressure cooker. So follow me over to the pressure cooker. Now my pressure cooker did not come with a trivet and I did not even know what that was when I was looking up these videos on YouTube a while back. So a friend of mine, Tracy, shout out to Tracy, told me to just use a pan for the trivet. So we're just going to see, perfect size. I'm gonna set that in there so we can boil the milk, all right? So you don't have to take the lid off. What I'm gonna do is set that in there. Well, let me set this in here first. Set that in there, set that in there, get some water. The water has to be one inch above the can and I'm standing the can up, I'm not laying it down like that. I'm gonna stand it up one inch. That's not quite an inch, an inch is right at the line on your finger. about this yeah cover it up lock now I'm gonna involve Joe because only he knows when this thing is locked because the thing rubbed off of the pressure cooker so can you set that to close for me babe so this thing has to be with that groove mm -hmm. okay so it's closed then we're gonna plug it in Where's the little thing from here, Joe? It's there. Okay, that's there. And then this setting, canning, preserves, or preserving, adjust the time to 30 minutes. It took a good 15 to 20 minutes to even start the countdown clock from 30 minutes, and now it's done. Joe is releasing the steam with tongs because he doesn't want to get burned. Be very careful when you're using any type of pressure cooker, okay? The stovetop kind or this electric kind, and especially 
when you're doing things like boiling milk in it. So we're going to let this take its time to release and then we're going to open up the pressure cooker very carefully. And look how far I stand. <laughs> Let's go. There's still more in there? Oh no. Can you wait too long before? Ready? Okay. I'm going to take it out with tongs. I don't want it to sit in here and cook some more. Put it in here and I'm going to pour some cold water on it because I want it to cool fast. Finally, it's time to open the tins. This one was the one that was cooked on the stovetop for three hours. I'm using this set of beautiful spreaders that I got from my mom. This is uh, the handle on this one is banana. And look, this is beautiful. I like the color and I like the consistency. Now, this is the one that made me very nervous because my slow cooker cooks very fast on high. Let's see. Yeah, this one's a little bit too dark for my taste. This is the way it looks, you know, in those tins that you buy from the store. Um, it's not going to taste burnt, but it's just too dark for me. But you know what? It's still spreadable, but I like the stovetop one best so far. Next time around, I'm going to have to change the timing on the slow cooker. So now the one from the pressure cooker. I like the color on this one too. Let's see the consistency. Pretty good. Yeah, I like this. Next time I do it in a slow cooker, I'm just going to give it five and a half to six hours. My slow cooker cooks very fast on high, so you're just going to have to test yours. I don't like it this dark. I'm not going to waste it, but I don't like it this dark. I like it this way or this way. So you might be saying, Barbara, what you going to do with all this milk, girl? You boil all this milk. I know. I'm going to frost this cake. Look, look, look. Yes. <laughs> this is some Belizean light cake made from scratch. And if you tune in tomorrow, you're going to see how I made the cake. But for right now, this is just all about the milk. All right. So three different ways to make dulce de leche or boiled milk in the can. This one, I don't like it like this. This is what you know you would buy if you bought it in the store. They kind of overdo it, but it's okay. I love it. I'm going to use all of it. We're going to frost this cake, all right? I'll see you next video. Don't forget to follow, share, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and leave me a comment. Bye.